Hi YouTube and welcome to episode 2 of How to Make Wagon Loads. If you haven't seen episode 1, link's on the screen now. And we'll be at the end of the video. Um, so, episode 2. This is going to be how to make alternative wagon loads for wagons such as this, this and this. Yes, all the plank and mineral wagons. Um, as well as ballast, uh, gravels and coal loads. There are hundreds of other types of loads you can make um, which you rarely see actually. Um, more some than others. Um, so let's get on with it. So I'm going to start with something that is very basic but and must if you're building a heritage line in my eyes. Um, what you see quite a lot on heritage lines is ride on goods trains so all you have to do is get some basic benches these are the standard Hornby ones and then they've just been put in a wagon you can glue them in um, and then there you go you have a ride on goods train um, I haven't got enough of these benches to make it all the way but there you go you put some people in it and that looks great another thing that is probably best suited to plank wagons rather than a metal wagon like I have them in here is milk churns. Uh, you can buy them separately or you can buy them in little lengths like this and just pack them in so that they fill the whole lot. I've only got three here at the moment but I'd have rows like that going all the way down and then I'd have them going along the side here just to fill in that gap because it's not quite wide enough. And it can look really good um, even in a good yard you can have it uh, with the side open um, and then you can have just uh, say half full half not and you can say they've only emptied half of it and it's a really nice sort of um, it makes it uh, and it can look really good um, even in a good yard you can have it uh, with the side open um, and then you can have just uh, say half full half not and you can say they've only emptied half of it so it makes a really nice different variety of loads so uh, people watching your layout for instance don't just get bored of the same sort of stock going past and again it's really easy you don't have to ruin your wagons uh, a little bit of blue tack underneath them will do and as you can see it's removable <laughs> so another thing you can do is I've got quite a few matchsticks here and to make wooden loads say plank loads you just put them in alongside each other and then build them up take some time but eventually it does get a really nice effect and you can glue these onto cardboard um, just one layer across the top will look fine um, and as you can see there it just looks like planking across the top um, a little plank load um, and they don't have to be exactly the right length or width because um, in real life the wagon wouldn't perfectly fit the planks that it was being used for um, so you can even use matchsticks not matchsticks, dolly sticks matchstick, dolly stick so as you can see here you sort of you can glue them together like that and then you could make the end straight or you can have it rounded it might be rounded for whatever job they're going to and then there you go it's quite simple it just looks like planks and they are slightly too long so they're just um, going out but then you will need on the whole train of wagons you will need a little flatbed um, just as a spacer wagon because they would have them in real life I think um, just to sort of space it out because otherwise it's sort of going over the next wagon or if it's a brake if it's a brake van or a box van uh, it will be going into the next wagon 
So there you go. There's a few short um, other wagon loads for plant wagons and mineral wagons, etc. Wooden loads, heritage line people, uh, freight rides, and milk churns. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.